Okay, I'm going to show how I make my little fluffy clouds. This is the brush that I have been using, and you'll notice it's getting very gnarly looking. So it's just about ready to become a scruffy brush. And this angled shader that I've been using for a lot of the floated work, like here, and some of the detail work on the barns, it's getting ready to become a cloud brush one where I do more scrubbing with it and then I will have to begin using one of my new angle brushes in a smaller size I just don't have one out of the package to kind of take this one's place so as they progress and use then they take on new uses but I'm going to show you what this I call it my little gnarly angle brush. We'll still do, and we're going to, my paint has developed a little skin over the top, but we're just going to put paint on that toe end of the angle brush. And it's just, a, it's like making a bunch of little C strokes and kind of pulling them out in, into almost a ribbon. So I start by, and that's it. That would be one of the clouds. Then, sorry about that. Then I add a little more paint, and I'll do another little section. And so that's just my little fluffy clouds. But that's all it is is you want paint just on that corner. And I just do a couple little blending strokes because I don't want to lose my little bulk of paint I've got there so that it has enough paint to build my little row of clouds. So this is the rock that I'm going to be working on shortly. And I'll put another fluffy cloud here. And then one more up here. And the reason I like to use the angle brush is because it you're only putting paint on just the corner. So you don't have to worry about a big gob of paint on the brush when it comes to actually making your little clouds.